Today's video is all about crate training. I'm going to be going over the benefits of crate training, why you should do it, and how to get started. As always, I just wanted to preface that I am not a professional dog trainer or anything like that. I'm just a fellow puppy parent giving my advice and talking about my experiences to help you guys as well. Before we go into the crate training tips, I just wanted to talk about pup naps. Puppies nap a lot. They're like babies this way, they sleep the majority of the day, multiple times a day for long sessions. While I do put time into crate training Nova to sleep in her crate, sometimes I just let her sleep wherever she is. Sometimes that'll be in her playpen, on her little bed, on her gray puff, on the couch, sometimes even on my lap and that is totally fine. But recently she has been loving sleeping on her new bed. Now, this video is in no way sponsored by PupNaps, so all opinions are my own and they would be regardless. Um, but I just wanted to share this bed with you guys because Nova truly does love it. So this is the bed that PupNaps was nice enough to send to Nova. Um, the material is super fluffy and kind of fur-like and I think that's what really helps make it so comfortable for her. The fur-like material is what makes it so comfortable and helps reset your dog's nervous system to help them calm down faster. If you've watched my previous dog videos, you know that I always talk about how Nova really loves um, being tucked into tight spaces. Um, and I think that goes for every puppy or dog, really, they like to feel safe and secure. So what I really like about this bed is that it actually if Nova will let me <laughs> show you guys. Um, it's pretty deep on the inner circle, so sometimes when Nova sleeps, she actually tucks herself right in, which is awesome. I also like that there's an outer rim as well. Nova really likes to sleep with her head resting on something, so that's what she rests it on. And what's really awesome for me is that if Nova will <laughs> get off and let me show you guys, like I said, she really does love this bed, but it is, it is actually um, washable. So the outside cover comes off and you can wash it, which is so awesome. None of Nova's beds that I have so far are able to do that. So this is great just to ensure that her bed is super sanit sanitized, um, it doesn't smell, anything like that, so that's really awesome. And they were nice enough to give me a code for you guys if you're interested in getting your own. They've got tons of colors. Um, I'll have the website linked down below, but you can use the code VICTORIA for $25 off. So yes, it is a really awesome bed. I truly, truly do love it and Nova loves it as well, so if you're interested, you can use code VICTORIA for $25 off. So, why should you crate train your puppy? Well, in my opinion, um, a crate is the best option to keep your puppy safe during times where you cannot watch them. So, whether that be during the night while you are sleeping yourself, or say, you have to run errands, you have to join a Zoom call, you have to study, you have to do a test, things like that. Any time where you cannot keep your eyes on your puppy, the crate is an amazing option to keep them safe and secure. But like I said earlier, puppies love feeling super cozy and secure, and a crate is a great way to provide that for them as their little own sanctuary where they can go when they're tired, where they're feeling overwhelmed, things like that. So while I do have Nova sleeping in the crate during the night, it's not just for sleeping. It's great to keep them safe and tucked away if you need them to be in a secure place. Crate training is also a great way to establish control in your relationship with your dog. If you give your dog too much freedom, that can hinder your potty training um, because dogs know not to go potty where they sleep. Crate training can also help prevent bad behaviors forming. Um, so if you can't watch them and you put them in there, they can't get into something that they shouldn't. They won't chew on things you don't want them to, things like that, where you can't tell them that's not okay. And I find that crate training also establishes a routine for Nova, um, which is really great in helping with her obedience training and her behavior. One of the main reasons why I decided to crate train Nova and a reason why I think you should consider crate training your puppy is to prevent separation anxiety. 
um, by not allowing them to follow you around everywhere or be right by your side or sleep in the same bed as you you are instilling in them confidence and teaching them to self-soothe which can be re really beneficial in the future in preventing separation anxiety so how do we start crate training well the key is to make positive associations with the crate chances are your puppy may not be used to being in such a confined space but if you make it a really fun and positive experience um, it'll go a lot smoother so how do you do this well you could try feeding your puppy in their crate by giving them their meals you could give them treats praise petting toys every single time they go near the crate smell the crate and most importantly when they go in the crate and that is your time to jackpot what they want you can also play crate games to make it a positive experience so you can toss a treat into the back let your puppy run in and eat it and let them come out and just keep doing that over and over to show them that it is not a scary place to be and every single time they go in they get a treat which is awesome and you can do all of this while keeping the crate door open. I feel like a lot of people make the mistake of closing the door right away and assuming that everything is going to be fine, um, even if they have a toy or treats inside with them. That can be very scary for puppies, so I do recommend keeping the door open for the first few sessions and slowly, slowly inching the door closed. Um, and once you have the door closed, be sure to feed them treats through the door if you can just to keep it very positive. I also recommend doing crate training sessions multiple times a day for short periods of time. Just five to ten minutes a day, multiple times a day can really build up this progress and help you get where you want to go. And of course, once your puppy is more used to being in the crate, having the door closed, you can do longer sessions. So I like to crate train Nova while I'm either in class or editing a video. Um, and with that, I just leave her with like a natural chew toy or a toy that she likes to chew on. And she is totally fine for over an hour in there. And sometimes she even falls asleep, which is a bonus. I also recommend keeping the crate in the same room where you are, or at least in sight. Um, that can really help with their stress and make it a more positive experience, especially at the beginning. But of course, eventually, I'm working on this myself. I want to move the crate further and further away, but for now, I'm keeping it in the same room. Another key tip that really changed the game for me um, with Nova's crate training is keeping a shirt that smells like me in the crate with her. This can be a shirt that I've worn a couple times and honestly the sweatier and smellier the better. Um, or if you just got your puppy and you're starting out and they're not used to your scent yet, you can use a blanket that smells like their litter mates if you have it. Once I figured out this trick, it made crate training a whole lot easier and a lot smoother. As for crate training during the night, the number one tip I have is this. It's basically inevitable that your puppy is going to cry and whine during the night. Maybe it's their first time sleeping alone. The whole thing is quite stressful for them. They've probably never slept in a tight confined space like that, but something that really worked for me that I think you should keep in mind is this. Every single time your puppy cries in their crate during the night, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open the crate, pick them up, and bring them to their potty area. You're gonna wait five minutes for them to potty. If they potty, fantastic. If they don't, just pick them back up, put them right back in the crate, close the door, turn off the lights, and go back to sleep. This is going to teach your puppy that every single time, <laughs> Every single time I cry, I am telling my human that I need to go potty. As hard as it is, do not, do not, do not. Pick up your puppy, put them on your bed, hold them, pet them, play with them. That is going to instill in them that every single time I cry, I get the attention that I want from my human. Crate training can be tough and I'm there with you. I've experienced it as well. I'm still working through it during the day but I know you can do it, just be consistent, do not give in to their crying. It is gonna happen and it is heartbreaking sometimes and it can be hard and all you want them to do is settle down, but 
just following these tricks can really help you um, eventually they are going to settle maybe even after 20 minutes so whatever you do just please stay consistent and do not give in it is going to be hard for them but they will settle eventually i really cannot believe that we are at over 900 subscribers that is totally mind-boggling to me i don't even know 900 people so that is insane thank you guys so much for all the support and love on this channel it really does mean a lot to me if you enjoyed today's video and you found it helpful please be sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know and it does really help me out be sure to hit the subscribe button i post a new video every single wednesday and it would mean so much to me some of you have suggested that i do a live stream once i hit 1000 subscribers and that sounds like a lot of fun to me so please let me know in the comments if you're interested in something like that or if you have any ideas for how I can celebrate with you guys for 1,000 subscribers also be sure to let me know in the comments what other videos you want to see from me doggy related or not I read every single one and try my best to reply you can also follow Nova and I on Instagram I'll have our handles right here I love talking to you guys on there as well and I love that you guys send me pictures of your new puppy on their gotcha days so that is really awesome I also post daily on Nova's account so if you want a little daily dose of Nova you can follow her there so many of you guys have been asking me about how I train Nova based off of last Sunday's video if you missed that one I'll have it linked down below as well but that training video will be coming next week so be sure to subscribe if you're not already and to check back for that one but that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Pupnaps for sending Nova's bed over. Um, if you guys want to get your own, you can use code Victoria for $25 off yours. And of course, our iconic outro. <laughs> Little Miss Nova has just been sitting next to me on her bed, chewing away at this ring. But as always, we will see you guys next week. Say bye. What is going on, girl? Hey! Say bye! Say bye bye! <laughs> bye, guys! You're so funny, Nova.